Hello everyone, my name is Mouse Tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to make a world generator for your mod. So in this tutorial I will show you how to set it up, the basic setup and how to make it for the generate for the overworld. The nether and the end will be in a next tutorial. So what we want to do first is register with the world generator. So world generator top world generator generator is new world generator top okay so let's use that and register it game registry dot register world generator and use your world generator okay so now it's going to give us a bunch of errors because that doesn't exist yet. So let's create world generator top. And I would like to do that in the package.worlds.generator. So hit finish. There we go. Now the first thing you want to do is implement e world generator. That is what we need for our world generator to work. Now there, we need to implement one method which is generate. So that needs a random, a chunk x, a chunk z, a world, a chunk generator and a chunk provider. Wow. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to switch the world dot provider dot dimension ID. So this is going to uh, look what dimension we are in. The dimension ID for the overworld is 0, for the nether is minus 1 and for the end is 1. So case it is 0, we want to generate surface and we are going to create that in a moment. Case it is 1, we want to generate end. In case it is minus 1, we want to generate Nether. Pretty straightforward for now. So what we want to do now is create that method um, generate surface. Uh, right here. Okay, so we want to say public void generate surface. Okay, and what I forgot is that I need to give it the random, the chunk x chunk sets and the world but I prefer to do the world as first so world random chunk x chunk z so we also need to give that to the end and to the nether so that needs a world world that needs a random random that needs an int chunk x and it needs an int chunk z. Okay, so what are we going to do with the generate overworld? Uh, sorry, the generate surface. Well, we're going to say what blocks we want to generate here. Now for that I'm going to use a new method which is add ors. And that add ors is what we're going to create right now. So public void add ors. Now this needs a bunch of things, because we are going to set all the values in here, we need a bunch of things in here. So uh, let me see how many do we need, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so we need to have a block. Further referred as block, we need a world. We also need a uh, random. We need an int chunk x, we need the int chunk z, we need a int max x, which is going to be the boundary of the chunk, so if you don't want it to spawn in the entire chunk, you can use a max x, and we're also going to say max z. Okay, so what we need now is an int vein size, an int spawn chance, int y min, 
and it ends y max. Wow, that is a bunch. Okay, so let's import some things to fix. Add a comma here, semicolon there. Okay, so what this is going to do is we're going to loop. We're going to loop y and we're going to say, okay, in the beginning it's a 1, but we want to loop as long as it still has spawn chance. So it's going to spawn the block and if there still is a chance to spawn then it's going to do it again and again and again. And we're going to increment it so it doesn't get stuck. Okay, so when we try to place it we, we say int posix which is going to be the position of the block is the chunk x so that's going to be the boundary of the chunk plus a random number next int from 0 to 16 15 15 um, so this is gonna say okay we have a starting point of the chunk and somewhere between the start of the chunk and 16 blocks later we want to spawn a block so basically we are putting it anywhere in the chunk so the int pos z is chunk z plus random dot next int 15. So that's that's going to be the position of the uh, ors in the x direction and the z direction. And we also need a y. So pos y is uh, y minimum plus a random number from the bottom to the top so in order is let's get an example if we want our or to spawn between 20 and 50 we're gonna set the minus to 20 and somewhere between the 20 and the 50 we want to place it so somewhere between the 50 minus 20 so that means um, somewhere between 50 minus 20 which is 30 so we say y max minus y min well so once again this is going to make sure that it is within these boundaries and that it works so when that is done we want to say new world gen mineable which is the method which is going to spawn everything in the world now what do we want to spawn we want to say block dot block id so whatever block we give it we want to spawn and how many well as much as we said the faint sizes and when it dot generate now therefore we need the world the random Pos x, pos y, and the pos z. Okay, so once again, this method is going to be called by the world generator. That is going to check which dimension we are in. In this case, we are in the surface, which is the overworld. So we're going to give it a world, a random, and we need to add this, uh, multiply this by 16, so we make sure we are in a chunk. Okay, so once again, this is going to say, okay, we are in the overworld, so we give you a world, a random, start of the chunk X, start of the chunk Z. And what we're going to do with that is we're going to add some ors. So for now I'm gonna leave that empty I will show that in a minute but what that's gonna do is it gun it will basically tell everything about the world generation block the world the random the chunk the chunk the maximum the spawn chance the vein size and it will use all of that to generate the block so let's make an example now for example I want to spawn mod blocks dot new block I want to spawn it in the world 
I want to give it the random number. I want to give it the chunk x. I want to give it the chunk z. I want to give it a max x, which is going to be 16 by default. The max z is going to be 16 by default. The vein size for now is going to be 18. Spawn chance is going to be 20. The y minimum is 0 and the y maximum is 100. So as you can see, we are going to give all these parameters to the add ors and that will add the ors. Now in order to not have a error, I need to do this. I will fix the errors. And let's now see if it did generate. Now, let's go. Mo Yang starting up. There we go. Create a new world. Okay, so let's see if the block is in. Oh. Let's see, there we go, there is our block. Our block has spawned into the world. Um, it is, well, stupid gravel. You can see that it generated between 0 and 100. It generated somewhere in the world. So that's great. That's how we want it. Um, leave a like if you now know how to add world generation for your block. Once again, the nether and the end is going to be in a later tutorial. But uh, I hope you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you next time. Bye.